Hi everyone, this is Pastor Dale. And I'm uh, moved, I've been in Emmitsburg now uh, for a year. And last year when I moved here, I not only got to meet uh, Pastor John uh, as I stay in the church parsonage of the Elias Evangelical Lutheran Church, but I got to meet his wife, Sandy. And Sandy uh, was telling me about a book that she wrote last year. And it's called My Silent Partner. I hope everybody can see this. Um, and I'm going to tell you, this is one of the best books that I have ever, ever read. And it's, a, it's an enjoyable book. It's a fun book. It's filled with knowledge. It's filled with wisdom. And it's filled with a lot of humor. And Sandy has a unique outlook on life. And, of course, it's, it's about her life. So um, this uh, coming Saturday, April 25th, at the uh, St. Philomena uh, Bookshop here in Emmitsburg, uh, Sandy's going to be having a book signing. And I'm going to encourage all of my brothers and sisters in Christ and all of my friends and Facebook readers and manor readers, uh, the Monday morning manor readers, uh, to really come up uh, to Emmitsburg. It's going to start around 1230 in the afternoon, but to come up and meet Sandy and, and John and get to talk with them and uh, and to, you know, to get a, just take a, a glance at this book. I'm telling you, it is absolutely fabulous. And there's one thing that really caught my interest the most, and that's about a tree called the Jesus tree. So if you don't mind, I want to read her introduction to you because I think it's really important. She says, In my silent partner, Sandra grows up in partnership with the Lord. Her story begins in a small Midwestern town where in the late 1990s, a mysterious natural phenomenon was discovered, attracting global visitors. There, on a tree in the midst of a small Catholic cemetery was found a life-size figure of Jesus cradling what appears to be a lamb. It mysteriously protruded from the entwined knot of an old tree. A lamb's head can be seen just above the cuddling arms of Jesus. When this good shepherd image first appeared, it was covered in gold-like moss. The tree's branches appeared to be embracing with curvy arm-like limbs slitting three ways just above the image. There's also a remarkable illusion the figure is only visible when you stand back from the tree, viewing the big picture. Yet when you stand too close, all you see is a knot in the tree. As I stood quietly in the cemetery, I realized an interesting truth. When I am right in the midst of a crisis, all I can feel is the knot in my stomach. Yet when I stand back, prayerfully, I can see Jesus clearly, and the knot seems to somehow untangle by faith as nature portrayed in moonlight water may my story mirror his divine glory so i'd like you to come up here seriously you know uh and just spend a few minutes only get, from frederick it's only like 30 minutes maybe not even that to get up here it's on route 15 get off route 15 uh the seaton avenue uh and then just get up to the stoplight turn left and right there right there in front of you is the saint philomena bookstore so uh, I'm really hoping that a lot of you will show up and uh, I'll be in there. I'll be with Sandy and John and uh, the rest of the people. And um, we just ask you to come on up and, and meet Sandy and uh, me. And uh, let's talk about my side of the park. Amen. God bless. This is the Jesus tree that Sandy has talked about in her book. Can you see him? It changed the water. Take my hurt and make me shine. Merge this brand.